well, cars won't start when it's when these kind of temperatures, say, you know, 20, 30, 40 below. Uh, one reason is the oil gets extremely thick, so it's much, much harder to turn the engine over, uh, requiring more amperage from the battery. At the same time, your battery, when it's cold, produces less amperage. Uh, you know, might note that the batteries are rated in cold cranking amps. Those go down because it's cold. Huh. So we use a variety of heaters uh, powered by electricity to uh, warm, warm it up so that it will start. I uh, use block heaters, which is a heating element that goes into the water jacket and heats the water inside the engine. And most people will also have a heater on the bottom of their oil pan, which will help keep the oil warmer and, and thinner so it's easier to turn over. Hmm. Some people will also use battery warmers, which is another heating pad put underneath the battery keep it warm to boost the cold cranking amps on it hmm. um, and that's basically it so that's what that plug-in does that's what that plug-in does <laughs> that one little plug-in does yep, all you, that. it goes to a three or four way plug with all these other devices plugged into it so you can plug in one one heavy extension cord which needs to be an arctic uh grade cord that remains flexible in the cold otherwise yeah, it cracks yeah the old orange <laughs> extension cords you see in the lower 48 they crack and yeah break. they they're they will they won't bend at all if you try to force them all the insulation will just shatter right off of them. <laughs> and you're left with a big chunk of copper laying there on the ground yep so seen that happen mm -hmm. same or if you drive off with with forgetting to unplug it yeah yeah <laughs> lots of extension thing. cords in the, in the roads and driveways <laughs> that happens <laughs> Cool. Thank so you. There you go. Block heaters and uh, uh, cold starting in a nutshell. Yeah. Cool. Thanks.